this, you son of a bitch! No! Oh! After we done saved your life, game? As brolic. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Wish you were in the building, and welcome to the first ever episode of a brand new series. We are playing The Walking Dead. We're playing all the seasons. I got the whole collection pack, and FYI, I've never actually finished this game. I played season one, and I haven't even finished season one yet, so I'm excited to play this game again. I haven't played this game in years. And man, I just I just gotta play this game. This game is a classic, and we're gonna start off with season one, man. I don't even remember what happens here, so it's like I'm playing a brand new game, bro. I haven't it's been like a decade, man. But one of my friends suggested that I should play this. He said he finished the whole thing, it was amazing, so I'm like, you know what, I gotta check it out. And uh yeah, so let me just check the settings real quick, make sure everything good. Subtitles off. Nah, we want to turn that on. Detect selectables. Story notifications. Yeah, we could turn that on, I guess. I don't know what they mean by detect selectables. Um, Alright, this should all be good. Check out the gameplay. Alright, we did that. Alright, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. My first time playing on PC, too, man. I'm a console player, but standard. Yeah, we're gonna do standard, man. A new day. Ah. Episode one. Season one, let's get it. I also went to the movies the other and saw King Kong. How yo, how was it, bro? How was it? I wish I would have seen that instead of Abigail, bro. That movie was so mad on. Let me, uh, those are sheets. The Walking Dead. Oh man. Also, just so you guys know, I'm also live streaming right now. So if you guys ever want to check out the live stream, just make sure you come on, man. I, I stream usually every day, every other day. So tune in. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. What do you say? Why you say that? Why you say that? Does it really matter? Uh, I don't think I say nothing. Why do you say that? You say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Yeah. Alright, take a look around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Okay. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator. That's for sure. Be advised, uh, Who's that? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Yo, Jawa, appreciate you. Meet the your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Bruh. Ha! <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do 
He was an older fella. Big uh -oh. soft eyes behind a pair of smart cops around, eyes. Man. And he no, just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Hey. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious hey, yo. if I do say so. Hey, yo. This other time... <laughs> Brawley. It's Brawley. myself out that window I got you bro I need to drag myself out that window oh, one or two wait what it's my first time playing on PC chill out chill out chill out chill out Oh. Oh. Okay. I felt that. <laughs> The shotgun is over there. Yeah, you don't say. Ooh. Yo. That sounds painful. I ain't gonna lie. Dang. Why would he have needed that? I gotta get used to that. The one and two. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. True that. True that. True that. Alright, we gotta get his keys. Yo. <gasps> oh no. Please don't drop me. Oh, I... 
<laughs> Officer? Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Yo, grab the Get away from me! Yo! He dropped it. Don't make me do this! Now we got you, bro. Got you, bro. Yeah. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh, no. What's going on? Obviously, just. Yeah. Yo, this guy is clumsy, bro. The volume is actually OD loud. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn that down real quick. It still sounds loud, low key. Oh, that's voice, that's why. Like, six. Actually. Uh, nah. I wanted to stream earlier. Shooting though. Hello, anybody? Actually, like that on concert too. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Alrighty. We are ah, Oh Yeah, hello? We, we need like a band-aid or something. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I need a band-aid. These people might need more help than I do. <gasps> oh Yo. Yo, that sound like it hurt. Oh. Damn. Come on. 
cup of water. Don't look dusty. One more, drink that. They got snacks up in here. What type of cereal they got? They got Honey Nut Cheerios. Let me get some of that. Ah. Ah. Please don't slip on the blood again, bro. Please. Oh, now you good? Like. <sighs> Jesus. Now you good? guy near the hotel so we had to get him back to the er and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after clementine and i promise we'll be back in time before your spring break message two left at 11 19 p.m oh my god finally i don't know if you tried to reach us all, all the calls are getting dropped they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, oh, snap. please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Uh oh. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Sheesh. Daddy? Huh? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Oh. I knew it was a walkie-talkie somewhere. Hello? You need to be quiet. You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hey, yo! Oh. This guy! He keeps falling, bro. Sheesh. What the heck? Yeah, he 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 trips a lot, bro. Man. Kill it. 
think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Ah oh, man, I ain't get a chance to drink the water. I seen that right after I got attacked by a zombie. Okay, well, poor Clementine. I don't think our parents made it. Dang, she had to witness all of this at such a young age. Sad, man. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Pushing us with a broken leg. Any of those guys, neighbors too. Yo, Ray, what's good, bro? Yo, I appreciate that, bro. How are you doing, man? How are you? <laughs> nah, I definitely gotta start streaming out here, bro. We got members now. That's good, that's good. It's been a minute. It's crazy, that music went perfect with the cutscene. I thought that was them driving the car. And I thought they had the radio on. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both.
Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Good looks, bruh. I've been bleeding all day. Blood gushing everywhere. Oh, he quick. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we, uh... Find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Mm. What do we do then? Chop your leg off. Probably up. just have to shoot you. Oh. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Where? There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. But they got money. Right, the Greens, he got his own barn. What? He's smart. He's smart, bro. He's smart. It smells like. I know what it smells like. Duty. Duty. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Love the music. Mm, so relaxing. I love you, baby. <laughs> Sheesh, my man got a dark past. I don't even know what happened. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Hey, get up. 
Oh, you, bro. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah, <laughs> nothing <laughs> bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Oh, wow. You just called his son stupid. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. It's tough. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, why? Uh. Um. Ah, right, let me let me help out with the fence, man. We don't got we don't got time to be talking. To you. Be sure to check everyone you met. Ah, right. just cause y'all said so, bro. Seems like those two are getting along. Ah, just cause you said that. Let me check on my man's, man. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Where, man? Kenny a real one, man. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Hmm. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What Where? is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. Job. It can't stay like this. You want to work? Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Talking about work. Kenny what? just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. 
over some, just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Facts, man. Facts, those are the facts. things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I right. I love you, Clementine, but we gotta we gotta wrap it up, man. We gotta work on this fence, man. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Scott, man, I hate this kid, bro. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Ah, I got you, bro. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Well, whoever they are, wherever they are, I hope they're okay. Thanks. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. That's a shitty fence. Nah, this is ass. They're gonna jump right over that bitch. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Wait. How'd you get out of Atlanta? What you mean? Well, I'm sure it was complicated. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Wait. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. 
You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Hey, yeah. Uh... Go! I'll get my gun! I gotta save buddy? My leg is stuck! Do I save duck? Can I save both of them? Yo! Please, Yo! Please! No! Oh, he's gonna die either way. Damn! That's tough. Damn. Duck. Dumbass, bro. Got Dumbass. To make duck, it if you want bro. It. Dumbass duck. He built that fence for no reason, though. Duck a dumbass, bro. Duck is a dumbass. And he just standing there like, ooh. And he a dumbass for letting him drive the tractor and building that weak well, ass fence. They both as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. They both was stupid. Brawly. God damn. That's sad. Man, saying, hey Look. there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Man, he ain't just commit manslaughter, bro. Fuck! Oh no! We're trapped! <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh no! We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. 
Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh, Over whoa. my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because oh, we to it's me up. before anyone else in here! We gonna square up? <laughs> oh. Jesus! I thought we about, thought we was about to... Huh? <laughs> Bro. 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 Everybody just watching? I'm about to say, like, yo! Man. She got good aim, though. You okay? Just great, thanks. She got good aim. Who that? Hold on. Uh, guys? She just saved my life. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh, Bruh. 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 What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Well, please try to get in there. Now Behind the counter die. where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. 
We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Ah. Uh. Oh, where it is in the comics? Oh, let me get an NG by. Yeah, Lee gotta stop tripping, bro. picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> hey. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? For your sake, I hope the answer is no. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Man. Don't worry about it. to say it in front of Clementine, right? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. Nah, the music there is great. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. 
Okay. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Why? He was a real one. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> you don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? Alfred has a peanut allergy. But you cool? I think so. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, I'm not that good. Not... Oh yeah, nah, this game kids? is good, man. No. This game you is good. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Bruh. Because they're dead. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I guess let's finish moving the desk, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Why would I tell her I kill somebody? Oh shit. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Oh, let me go in that first aid kit. Uh... Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna post this on my YouTube as well. So if you miss anything, it'll be. Luckily, on. there's nothing I need in here. Damn. Luckily, what you mean, luckily? Okay. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Uh, I don't even got the keys, bruh. The remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. <laughs> wow. There's really nothing in that first aid kit? Alright, that's crazy. 
Alright. Um, oh, wait, I have a band aid. What the hell? When did I get a band aid? Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Uh, Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, What's please. When I win that first aid kit, I guess. Well, he said, luckily, there's nothing in here I need. But I don't know. Oh, well. Well, she's good now. Oh, wait. She said she gets hungry a lot. I want to, damn, I want to give her the chocolate bar. Alright, that's cool. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Yeah. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's nothing. Let's uh head back to the others. Shit, I don't wanna lie. I don't wanna lie, bro. <laughs> I don't wanna lie. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Ah. Right. Oh, we got another energy bar. Alright, let's feed Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I give it to Duck. <laughs> Even though I hate this kid with all my heart. We can't let anything but happen Kenny to Ducky. I know. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I don't think he's bit, though. That'd be way too soon. Yeah, we're not. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, more energy bars. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh, huh. Uh, no, no. Uh, not right now. All right. Let me know if you want to. All right, let's let's see if Carly's ready to. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. I think I like Carly, man. I think I like Carly. You cat? Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. 
Get down. Oh. Nyla. They love you, man. Yeah. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. All right. over the wall w oh 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 we don't want to get caught okay we can hide by that pickup some attention be careful uh nah let me chill out let me chill out uh. we can do something with that car i bet if it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front all right i guess all right let's try breaking a window So if I move up, he moves up there too. Um. Alright, let's uh let's go back. Almost got caught. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if I had a weapon. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Ah. Let's see. What, what's over here? Okay, so we can't go there. We can hide by that RV. 
if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Hmm. Okay. Man, I say we going with gun and blade. Done smashing windows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Is right there in my face. You are smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Bro, how was I supposed to see that? <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Wow. You can't even blame me for that one. What are you going to do with that? Any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Okay, this makes me. That was sick. That was hard, I ain't gonna lie. That was risky. You went all the way back? Spark plug, can we use that for the car or not? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. It break glass like that? That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. It's better off just busting it open. Still made noise. Oh, we gotta stop. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna get the axe. I'll wait for him to get closer. I 
badass. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> two more. That should help. I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to go crazy. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend Lynn. i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! What just happened? Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no! no! Get out of here. Oh. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Damn, bro. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah. 
Alright. We gotta act. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? We need a keys, but this act should do, bro. About to bust this door open, man. About to bust this door open, man. I think I remember this part. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, we gotta feed Carly because that's here. Right. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. I like Carly, bro. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Oh, dang. Think of it as they just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Now for this, I think I remember. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Uh. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, you got well it to work. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Dang. I can't reach that brick. What do you mean you can't reach it? What do you mean you can't reach the brick? I can't reach that brick. What do you mean? Nah, that's Brawley. Alright, alright, we out of here. Awesome. Now to distract those things. 
carefully. I can't reach that brick. How? Anyways. second. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. That was close. But we did it. It's we all that matters. Wait. I got a got question. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Why did we break the lock? Wait, how were we able to leave the gate before? Cause then we leave to go get Glenn? Why why do we have to break the lock? I'm confused. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. And how were they locking the gates before? Like how were they able to get out before? Why did we break it? I don't know. Yeah, what? Oh well. I guess they're just stupid. <laughs> Who is that? Any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I ain't got doors not locked anymore. 
Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Dad, we need your help. Please hurry! Who said that? Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Oh, I... Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is screwed! Go! Oh. Mm, I found something. Oh, I gotta save these two again. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Doug, but like you were literally useless this whole game. <laughs> Wait, who's? Oh. No, get him off of me! Carly saved my life, bro. I'm sorry, bro. No, no, no. You were just a washout guy. You were useless. God. You was just a lookout, bro. You got Doug. Good looking. Oh. Nah. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, bro. Doug was the perfect sacrifice. Oh. After we done saved your life, game? As brolic. Somebody else getting today. Yo, Especially Kenny a, a good friend. Nah, Kenny a real one, bro. Yo, buddy, just yo. He really just punched us. <laughs> Out of all the people, he gonna say me? When I saved his life. Yeah, oh, you say Doug? Nah, Doug. Carly saved my life, and Doug was just a watch out guy. He was a perfect sacrifice, man. Good looking, bro. Doug, the reason why we died, bro. Like, he had the keys to the lot. He had the keys to the lot, man. Wow, still people alive. Let's see, yeah, flashbacks. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Hmm. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. He's leaving? I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. That's it? 
I ain't know he leaves. Wait, he really did that, bro? That's brolic. Oh, he gone for real. Wow. At nighttime, though? At nighttime, though? Right now, did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Ken, can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. That's because Duck, yeah, that's because Duck won't shut up. Talk it to himself. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. This is duck yeah, stupid ass. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? Bro, Duck, man, I hate Duck, but Kenny a real one, though. I, so I got no choice but to like Duck. Stupid ass kid, man. Yeah, I'm just talking to himself, bro. Wait, oh. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? Yeah, we're I was trying to help Bo. I could I could. Oh, he talking to Clementine. Clementine don't even want to talk to you, bro. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. Yo, hey, yo, yo. But you know what? Hey yo, we gonna have to fight, bro. Hey duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's nah, we gotta have a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie hey, broke. Give. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to oh, me. I'm sorry. Go, no, Glenn really did take the walkie-talkie, though. I know I need to be tough. Just I'm just ahead. sad. Everything I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used minutes. to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, Let me go deal with this. Hold on, bro. Oh, man. Clementine. Nah, I'm about to curse this dude out. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. 
We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Wow. Wait, that was in the end of episode one? Damn, I didn't even have to make a part two. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Damn! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well, I'm going to put these two videos together then. Alright. Almost two hours. All right, cool. All right. Honesty, lied to her, shoe. Lied to her. Oh, now nah, we was honest. Uh, who would you save, Duck or Sean? I say, wow. Okay. Some people actually chose Sean. Loyalty side with Kenny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely defended Kenny. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You used to give it. Yeah, I ain't give it a gun. I, I ain't say nothing. Doug or Carly? What? More people chose Doug? Oh, you know what? She did know more info about us. She did know info about us, though, if you really think about it, though. But, hey... Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here.